Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Technical Vocabulary. The word which we are talking about in our today's tutorial is called as retrospective. Retrospective is actually a part of agile methodology where agile involves some of the closure activities at the end of each sprint. Now what exactly retrospective is? Assume that you're talking about agile methodology being processed and definitely being completed with all the necessary activities at the end of the sprint. Sprint is just like an iteration which you complete as a part of agile and as at the end of the sprint you will have a get together and that is what you call it as retrospective. In short in corporate it is also known as retro where retro is basically about collecting all the information which is gathered from all the members of the development team in order to see what common mistakes you have done, what is that you could have improved, what is that you could have minimized your effort, what is the work item we have delivered, what is that we could not complete, was there any kind of blocker, so how to resolve that in upkeeping one, what was your velocity throughout that, right? So there are a lot of such things which you will be measuring as a part of the retrospective. And the entire development team sits together whatever the team member sizes to discuss about that and collect all the necessary information in order to improvise right from the next spread. In traditional approaches, this retrospective happens once at the end of the project, but in Agile, it happens at the end of each sprint. So every sprint you complete, you will have a retrospective to see that what exactly went through a particular sprint. And this is mainly to gather lessons learned from each sprint in order to improvise and optimize your upcoming sprints in a better way. So that's what is basically retrospective, which helps not only individuals, but in together the organization as well to add more value towards the processing of different activities and being more optimized towards giving an end result on time. So that's all from this particular episode team. Should you have any other word with you, feel free to drop it below in comments and I will pick it up to define it in more detail. So that's all from this particular episode team. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.